Cole County Fire Protection District Standard Operating Procedure Guidelines, the general statement, the efficient operation of any organization is contingent upon communication among the members of the organization. The need for members of any organization to know what's expected of them in part of the communication aspect. The following collection of rules regulations for the Cole County Fire Protection District is intended to fulfill that need. These rules do not and cannot cover every question or procedure, but stand as a guide to every member for use in day-to-day -day operations of the fire district. These rules also do not intend to limit any member from exercising prudent judgment or initiative in extraordinary situations. Much by necessity may be left to the loyalty, integrity, and discretion of our members. The philosophy, because the complete satisfaction of the general public relative to our function is our most important consideration. We must constantly strive to maintain high standards of training. The study of every new te technological ad advance, the investigation of every facet of firefighting and emergency medical service, and solicitous attitude toward all who can call upon the district in their time of need. We must continue in high standard of service to which the citizens have become ac accustomed. We will continue to develop a departmentally personality which is courteous, helpful, friendly, and efficient. We believe that because of our past endeavors toward these noble goals, we may claim an inevitable position in the professional firefighting and emergency medical services area. The Firefighter's Oath, I do solemnly swear that I have all the qualifications named in the Charter, Ordinances, and Policies of the Cool County Fire Protection District for the membership or employment for which I'm about to assume, that I will support the Constitution of the United States of America and that of the State of Missouri, that I will obey the Charter, Ordinances, and Policies of the Cool County Fire Protection District, familiarize myself with and be obedient to the rules and regulations of the Cole County Fire Protection District, and faithfully discharge the duties of firefighting and emergency medical care to the best of my abilities. Use of the manual and care of the manual. All members are furnished a copy of this manual. They are in charge of taking care of this manual and turning it in. If an emergency arises, which is foreseen, which no policy or procedure rule or regulation has been provided. It shall be the duty of the members of the district to act at such time with promptness, discretion, and prudence, and in a manner consistent with the general policy of the district. This manual shall remain the property of the Cole County Fire Protection District and shall be used with care. If leaving the district, we request that you bring the property back. The replacement value of this manual is $25. As changes become necessary, provisions will be made to add to and delete from our pertinent chapters. It will be the responsibility of each member to enter any changes supplied by the Fire Chief's Office of these regulations into their individual copy. No rule written or implied shall be construed in a manner that will deprive any member of their individual rights. Maintenance requests. A request for apparatus or facilities maintenance, planning, or construction services. The purpose is to discuss the procedure for reporting maintenance requests to the administration and to the prioritization of the scheduling of requests. A routine request to each station captain requesting services has the responsibility to report emergency maintenance problems for the entire station. Day-to-day -day tasks and monthly services associated with the station and apparatus should be performed by the station captains. All emergency requests for service should be routed to the administration. This provides coordination to accomplish work in a timely manner. Emergency repair services. Emergencies are defined as those problems requiring immediate action to restore or avoid interruption of any essential service provided by the fire station and the apparatus. Reporting during norm normal business hours. The situation which would appear to require immediate maintenance or repair attention to either prevent or resolve an emergency should be reported to the administration either by telephone or by email or by text. 
reporting after normal hours at any other time could be texted to the administration officer or the chief. Report after normal office hours should be texted to the chief or admin. Scheduling of repairs. Repairs are scheduled and, and updated on a daily and weekly basis. Priority is assigned to each maintenance order in accordance with the following work order to repose priority system. Emergency any situation posing immediate danger to life, property, and or environment. Priority one is urgent. Priority two is preventative maintenance. Priority three is routine maintenance. And priority four is shut down required work that cannot be accomplished while the equipment is in operation. Section 100-01 of the SOGs is our membership titling, battalion chief, bureau chief, captain. Uh, captain is our company commander. We do not have battalion and bureau. The transmission of orders of communication go through the immediate officers to ascending or descending order of rank. The chief is the chief administrative officer for the fire district hired by the board to do a job for them. The chief officer is a member holding or acting in any of the following ranks. Chief, deputy chief, assistant chief. Commanding officer is the officer acting officer who is the member's immediate supervisor in the chain of command. Command post is a radio equipment apparatus at the scene of an emergency, which is specifically designated by the officer in charge to be used as a communications post. Company is members assigned to a station or apparatus. The board of directors is the elected officials who have been uh, have the final interpretation for the Cole County Fire Protection District. Station log is a ledger that is a recording of history of fire district activities for permanent record for each station. Discipline is control gained by enforcing obedience and order. Firefighter, a private that functions as a firefighter in the area of extinguishment of fires and other activities as performed by the fire district. General staff is staff officers assisting the chief of the fire district. The headquarters is the office of the chief and the administrator. Immediate response district, the area in which a company is normally the first arriving officer, um, the first arriving in the area. Line command is succession of authority and responsibility concerning emergency functions. Loss of privileges, the loss of privileges granted to members by the chief or board of directors. Memorandum or memo, a brief note of an item or items to be remembered, not necessarily policy. Policy is a course or plan of action specifically of the Cole County Fire Protection District. A policy change is a change in existing policy and such policy change will either reference existing policy that is being changed or that which is new policy. The board of directors will approve all policy changes. A reminder is a reminder of a policy to which the attention of the staff needs to be drawn. A notice is information that is not policy in any way. Members are any member either paid or volunteer who are appointed by the fire district to perform the duties of a regular firefighter in the Cole County Fire Protection District. The term member shall include officers. On duty, a condition whereby a member is actively engaged in a function of the district. Engineer is any member assigned to order to handle a district apparatus in normal function other than driving. A special detail is an assignment for someone within the fire district. Staff or all chief officers are members assigned to the advisory board of the fire chief. Superior officers are a higher ranking officer than the member referred to. A unit is a subdivision of the department, such as a company. Section 100-01, the fire chief shall prepare job descriptions for each member's assignment within the fire staff of the district. Such job descriptions shall adequately describe the functions and duties and responsibilities of each respective rank or assignment. The purpose of the job description shall be to afford to each member of the district adequate knowledge of the duties, responsibilities, and functions of their ranks or assignment respectively. The fire chief shall report all such job duties to the board of directors, and many changes such as job descriptions from time to time 
further reporting any such changes to the Board of Directors for approval. One hundred two dash oh one is our membership and training. The department shall maintain an eligible list from which individuals shall be selected for membership and or employment. Equal consideration shall be given to qualified applicants, regardless of race, creed, color, sex, or religious affiliation. The basic qualifications of our applicants are to be a United States citizen, 18 years of age, pose a Missouri's driver's license, complete the required application and police background checks, successfully complete a background investigation. The report will be reviewed by the application committee and the fire chief for final approval. Attendance. Each member will be expected to attend the required meetings, assuring adequate training and familiarization with the department equipment and operations. Each member will expect to arrive prior to the designating starting time of all meetings and remain at the meetings until they have properly dismissed. Any member found not participating in meetings or any member that is absent from an excessive number of meetings without an acceptable excuse will be consulted by a chief officer. If the situation continues, dismissal of the member from the department may occur. Training. All members must attend no less than one regularly scheduled training meeting per month. Missing three consecutive months of required training will be just cause for suspension from the department without an acceptable excuse. It is the responsibility of the member to contact his or her company officer or his or her subordinate prior to an absence. Work sessions will not count as training. All members shall make effort to respond to emergency incidents requests when dispatched. It is recommended that all members complete a Missouri Qualified First Responder course, a basic firefighter course, NIMS 100, 200, and 700, or the equivalent courses before they are removed from a probationary status. It is recommended that a firefighter complete the following courses when position advancement occurs. The board and mid-level officers, the IS-400 for senior officers, the board administrative staff must complete IS-100 and 700 within one year. Section 102.01, I'm sorry, 102.02 is our standard operating guidelines for probationary period firefighters. All current Department members are strongly encouraged to invite and recruit anyone interested in joining the fire department. All new recruits will be required to attend an orientation session that will outline the responsibilities, expectations, and functions of firefighters. The probationary period for a new firefighter recruit shall be a period of 90 days. In this period of time, the new recruit firefighter will have the opportunity to receive the necessary training to familiarize themselves on the basic skills of firefighting and also allow them to become familiar with the department, personnel, and equipment. During this period of time, the new recruit must attend 75% of all meetings. During this period of time, records shall be kept on the new recruit concerning their activities performed. Attendance at training sessions is mandatory, and points shall be accumulated during the probationary period, but shall not be credited until successful completion of the probationary period. Recruit firefighters shall be assigned to a respective station and shall work directly under the supervision of the assigned station officers. No recruit during his or her probationary period will be issued a blue light and siren permit. Blue lights and sirens will not be used until so authorized in response to CCFPD calls. All recruits are encouraged to talk with other department members and officers during their probationary period to help them gain additional knowledge in department functions and operations. No recruit will operate an apparatus. Individuals will receive gear after a 90-day waiting period if selected. They will undergo an evaluation for driving ability, attendance, attitude, firefighter ability, and interactive at six months with a follow-up evaluation at one year.